Place has always mattered to people and economies, but the demands for place have shifted over time. During the 19th century, much of our economic activity was concentrated in the downtowns and the industrial districts of the nation's growing cities. This changed in the 20th century, however, as the advent of the automobile helped drive economic activity and deconcentrate economic activity to the suburbs. In the last several decades, the pendulum has begun to shift back as there's greater demand for certain urban attributes, proximity, density, and walkability. But a lot of that activity is happening in places like waterfront areas or other high amenity districts, often fueled by investments designed to attract highly educated workers. We need this kind of growth to work better for more people and for more places. Well, I think it's fundamentally an equity issue, uh, whether we have an economy that works for everyone or just for big cities or certain areas within big cities. It's fundamentally about um, the opportunity for people to uh, make a better future for themselves. It all starts by recognizing the potential in people. If we're not investing in black and brown people, then we can always figure out ways to invest in place and not people. You know, you can think of placemaking as the entire experience between the time you leave your home and arrive at your destination. So if you think about it, it's incredibly important what that fabric means to a person. One of the real opportunities we see, particularly in places that are struggling, whether they're in an urban context or in, uh, in a more rural or smaller setting, is the value of their downtowns or their neighborhood commercial districts. Um, those are places that often there's some degree of economic activity that's already happening there that can be leveraged. Uh, they also represent an enormous investment over time of a community's resources. They often have affordable space, uh, they have flexible space, they're dense, they're walkable, they have many of the attributes that we know workers and residents really value today. Public, private, and civic sector leaders need to understand the unique challenges and the unique opportunities facing different kinds of economic districts, whether that's downtowns or university and medical districts, arts and creative areas, rural main streets, or even suburban districts. And then they need to target their investments to better address the needs of those places. You can take the example of Campus Martius in Detroit. Downtown Detroit is a miracle of development and reinvestment that no one could ever have envisioned just a few years ago. What I think the Bass Center can do is to figure out ways we can get everyone involved to realize the principle that we're all in this together. Through both quantitative and on-the-ground research, the new Bass Center will both demonstrate and advance the idea that place matters to people and economies. The Center will work with a range of stakeholders to help document and design model approaches to transformative placemaking. And finally, the Center will help facilitate systemic policy and investment reforms that better support place-led economic growth and help innovative placemaking solutions to scale. <laughs>